Hello and welcome. I'm Dan Pfeiffer and today we are going to be discussing the offset slider crank that is shown here. Now, if you, just a description of the mechanism as the crank moves around here in a circle, we're going to see that the slider position D is variable. Also, uh, because of this, the angle theta 3 is variable. The rest of the things we should know as given by this data here. <coughs> We will, uh, I'll also note that we'll only be looking at the top solution here. Um, and uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I just introduced this factor of pi over 180 just because it's convenient uh, to convert back and forth from radians to degrees. All right, so I uh, assign variables using the um, colon operator uh, just as given by the table above. Um, some things to notice. I just called the offset R4. Uh, we know that theta 4 is 90 degrees and that theta 1 is 0 degrees uh, along the x-axis here. So the first thing we want to do is find theta 3. And in order to do this, we have to eliminate one of our variables. And the only other variable we don't know is the slider position D. Uh, so in the previous episodes, we've talked about how to eliminate a uh, angle measure using the dot product. Well, here we're going to use the cross product to eliminate the uh, length d. So I take my vector loop equation r2 minus r3 minus r4 minus d equals 0. You can see that clearly if I just follow that path with my mouse, I end up back where I started from. Now, um, if I do d cross all of those things, and then the other side d cross 0 is still 0, I end up with this. Uh, the magnitude of each times the sine of the angle between them. Now I know that the angle uh, for d is 0, so it ends up being just theta 2 minus 0. So I just wrote theta 2 here. Now if you look at this equation, we have a d in every term. You can factor that out and divide by d or just divide by d any way you cut it you can get rid of that unknown variable d and we're left with the only unknown variable here at theta 3. Uh, the, the trickiest part about this solution is deciding uh, whether to use the positive or negative value for this sine function here and first thing I want to do is just show what the output of the sine function is normally. So it gives a value between negative 90 degrees and 90 degrees, or um, negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. And we want to use the uh, positive value of this. So I'm going to go ahead and put a negative symbol in front of that so that I'm using the positive value. Now, um, I have to look at my picture a little bit. Uh, I did draw this out in Creo. So if you take a look at this, I'll zoom out here, the angle measure is just below 180 degrees. Now this angle that we're getting here is uh, 0.144 degrees, but we want to be 0.144 degrees below 180. So uh, this is where it just comes in convenient to know what the mechanism you're working with is and that's how I ended up with 180.144 degrees. Notice I didn't assign it here uh, just because in case I need to use it later um, I want to have it in radians uh, so that I can use theta 3 as a calculator. Um, so then the last step is to find D and I just noticed that D is completely in the X components so the easiest thing for me was to say that the sum of each vector will um, add up to, some of the x component of each vector will add up to zero. So I know that if I do r2 cosine theta 2, r3 cosine theta 3, r4, etc., um, will give me the vector loop equation equal to zero. And then I just solve this for my one unknown variable d, and it's as straightforward as that. And um, we get 4.99. If I go ahead and check this against the uh, drafting software that I've created, 
I can see that the value is indeed 4.99, so I know that I've done my solution correctly. All right, uh, so the big differences here, just to recap, if I want to get rid of a length, I'm going to use the cross product here. And when I got rid of angles in previous episodes, I used the dot product. Um, this is primarily because the cross product of D cross D would be the sine of the angle between them, which is zero. So sine of zero is zero, and that's why this term is zero. All right, uh, thanks for watching, and um, I hope that you learned something. Again, I'm Jan Pfeiffer. Here is my email address, and feel free to leave comments below. Thank you.